Duel Review is brought to you by SpiderWolf.com. On today's Duel Review, it's NHL, the video games. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, today is the 24th and we're taking a look at the video game series NHL. That's right, and uh, we brought this to your attention because for Game Labs we played NHL 08 and we had a lot of fun, surprisingly I had a lot of fun. So uh, I don't know much about the series and you <coughs> love the series and you brought it to my attention so go ahead and take it away. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, a hockey fan, I have been for a long time. I don't really care about other sports and we've made fun of other sports. I, I do enjoy or I did enjoy watching basketball but now they're like too much bravado and stuff and I just roll my eyes all the time. And football is kind of like, blah, 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 and then wait for like yeah. 10 minutes. And then, blah, 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 and then wait for 10 minutes. So I really don't care about that. And then baseball is also very slow. And so I guess I can get interested in it if, if somebody else is there and I really want to, you know, kind of thing. But but overall, it's, it's hockey that I'm only interested in because it's like the ninja sports. That's what I always say. It's very fast paced. It takes a lot of skill. There's some violence, and um, yeah, I just I very much enjoy it. Of course, they're awkwardly dressed for ninjas, but yeah, you know, whatever. The ho- you know, hockey uh, goalie outfit is, is a lot of fun. I like that. And out, each of the different goalies have like painted hat. Yeah, you know, whatever. I, just, I, I you know I do enjoy some of that stuff. Um, and I think that the the NHL series has done a great job for a long time. And I really enjoy it. My favorite is 2008, which is the one that we've played for Game Labs. And that was, I think, the last one really before maybe 2009 was. I, I skip years. So uh, 2008, I think, was pretty much the last one where it was that perfect balance for me of arcade hockey and realistic hockey. Because it had good skating physics. Uh, it had great passing. And you use the thumbstick to do slap shots. You know, you hold it back and forward for a slap shot. They call it the a, skill stick system. Or a quick wrist shot, you know, kind of thing. And it was really that fun tactile. It, it drove me nuts for the first couple times just because I, I wasn't used to that. I'm used to pressing like X or whatever to shoot or one of the triggers or whatever. So to get used to that. And you can actually kind of aim, which is great. Um, so I really enjoyed that that year. It had great music. You know, I had like Paramore and, and just a bunch of I think I had like uh, the Yeah Yeah Yeahs or something like that. Anyway, uh, really great, great music. And it's just a lot of fun. And if it's enough to get him interested too, because we both are kind of like not sports, even though I, I do like hockey I don't from like time to time. Uh, hockey's also been one of those things where they've had a lot of problems. They've had problems with... Uh, caps uh, for paying their players uh, between teams and stuff like that. And Well, really, the, that's not the problem. The problem was that some teams were just way overpowered and you never won because they paid more or whatever. And hockey players don't get pay, played as much as, you know, most other sports. Um, but still, you know, uh, there's an inconsistency and they actually had a couple of seasons that just didn't exist because they couldn't figure this whole thing out. Um, so this game and other games like it, like the 2K series were the only real, you know, alternative that, that fans had for getting their hockey fix for a year or two. And, um, the 2K series has dropped out. The NHL is really the only survivor, uh, EA and, um, now they've gotten to the point where they're going super realistic, which I have no problem with, but it's much harder. Like, it'd be a total barrier to entry for you, I'm sure. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's like even the skating, you have to really know what you're doing. And, the, you know, shooting is way, you know, more difficult and nuanced and all that stuff. They have great physics, so it is great, but the AI is also, like, super difficult. So you have to, you have to exactly you know, set up your play. You need to know what you're doing. This one you can run and gun a little bit, although it does help to kind of slow down and use that. So to me, that's a great balance because I don't want to pretend that I'm a real hockey player. Uh, hockey games, if you don't know, uh, they have very low scoring games usually. It's like one to two or maybe two to zero or, you know, whatever. Like maybe one guy, you know, one side gets four hockey goals, you know. Goals? Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, at a time so it's a very low scoring affair so it's it's just very hard to get the puck you know where you need it at that time and get it past the goalie and get past the defenseman yada yada um so to to make it that difficult in a game is not necessarily that fun unless you're really into hockey so i do enjoy it but i, li- I like this better because if you're on a breakaway chances are if you know what you're doing you might be able to you know pass the puck and deke and in you know kind of thing so you do get every once in a while you get a seven point game or something like that um, you know, for your team or something like that. So it's it's twice as 
easy, maybe. I don't know. But it's still hard. I still lose every once in a while. And um, it, I like this game as well. I guess I'm talking uh, NHL 2.8 specifically because you can really create your own character and kind of level them up and go through them. Now they have the kind of road from the miners all the way to the, you know, whatever, and signing with teams and all that stuff. So they do have some added uh, gameplay there. I'm not just, I'm not terribly interested in that. I just, you know, I like to put my character with my name or whatever. I made one for one of my, you know, comic characters. And um, it's a lot of fun. And just the mechanics of it are very solid and pretty fluid. Uh, the goalie mode has always been kind of troublesome. It, it's very difficult because, I don't know, the goalie takes up a lot of space if you play that way. And uh, you're just kind of waiting and whatever. But it is challenging. And I'm, I'm going to totally make him do a game lab where we, we take turns doing it because I suck too. Right. Uh, so that'll be fun. And uh, But there's a lot of options for a sports game. There, there really are. And it's done well. The menu system works well. I do have problems with freezing every once in a while for at least the eight. Um, the other ones I, I think I have as well. But anyway, it is a solid series. I think eight is actually really great. So if you're into hockey and you don't need to have the, the actual you know teams as they are right now, 2008 I think is the most solid of all the games that I've, I've played in hockey huh. games. Uh, but the other ones are more interesting. You know, uh, like 14 just came out, but it's very, very technical and could drive you nuts if you don't really know what you're doing and setting up plays and all that stuff. But if you're into that sort of game, you yeah, know, whatever. I, I picked up two. I picked up NHL 08 because you brought it to me, and I was able to just play. You know, there yeah. was no, there wasn't too much learning. Although you were there to say this is how you do a slap right, shot, right? Or, and you yeah. were still learning the rules, but you know, you figure it offsides. That right. was the one you kept having problems yeah, with, and whatever. Offsides. And then we actually played co-op as well. So there is co-op, and it's like I'm a member of the team, and he's a member of the team, but they switch off. So it becomes hard because when you pass, you never know if I'm gonna get it or if he's gonna jump. Right. Yeah. Because the way you, one of us, the way you usually play in these games, the arcade kind of style is whoever has the puck you're playing as. Yeah. So when you're on the same team, it kind of tries to break that apart. So that can lead to some very awkward, awkward situations. Yeah. Hell of a lot of offside. I can pass it to him and yeah. not know that I'm the one who's actually, you know, so, so he, if, if I'm here and he's here and then there's another person up here, I'm going to pass it to this person up here and assume that he's just going to take over that role. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to pass and you shoot. So I'm going to pass it and he's supposed to shoot, but because it passes to myself, uh, I'm sitting there like, well, yeah. why aren't you shooting? Which is not a problem. Okay. Which is not a problem when you know it's just you on a team, right? And in fact, there are modes where you can just play one player. And we haven't done co-op, but I want to do that co-op where we're just one player each. Yeah. So you know, I'm a I'm a center and he's a wing or something like that. That'd be fun. Anyway, um, there's a lot of you know tactile fun with the whole checking and whatever. Uh, you know, you'd use your thumbstick, and mm -hmm. um, there is. I mean, you can basically hack a guy if you want. Uh, but you need to make sure that the ref's not looking or, you know, just do it quickly and maybe you can get away with it kind of thing. So it gives you that much flexibility, otherwise you're going to get a penalty. Yeah. So it gives you that flexibility to try that out. Um, there's a lot of, obviously, adjustments, sliders and yada yada, making the goalies more difficult and hard, but uh, pretty much just playing on pro is good for the beginner. All-star, definitely, if you're really into it like I am. Yeah, I wouldn't uh, go, what was the what was the first rookie? One? Rookie, yeah, I wouldn't yeah, do rookie. Too easy. He picked it up enough. Yeah, that makes you one player, and of course you never played. No, no, no. I don't think it does. I think we put the adjustment to you anyway. Whatever. Oh, he, is that what it was? He was playing as one player uh, and couldn't figure it out. Yeah, so so I guess it must have been the adjustment as far as me not being a great player. We moved that up to kind of give me a chance, and I was only one player and I couldn't really get uh, the puck at all. So you just got to make sure your settings are right so that you can transfer to yourself in a one player. You know, on a, if you're on the one side. But, you know, there, I do really enjoy fighting it out for whatever it is, 72 games or whatever, to get to the Stanley Cup Finals and then trying to win. But if you, you know, it, it's a lot of fun for me because it's a lot of waiting, but it's just kind of fun. I just put it, pick it up, put it down whenever I have time. And when I get to the Stanley Cup, it's like, oh, it's all led up to this. And it, it gives me that excitement. So yeah. I enjoy that. And it, it, is, it is kind of a gateway uh, uh, sports game. Because immediately he's like, what other sports games haven't I tried? I've tried them all. I don't it, really like you know, them. NBA true. ones it, are okay. It's true. I don't like sports, which is why I never play sports games. Um, Tecmo football spawn. Tecmo football. <laughs> Tecmo, you know. Yes, I remember. Old school Tecmo. I remember Tecmo, yeah. Uh, so so for me to play uh, uh, hockey and just be like, this was a lot of fun. Like, I remember playing um, a couple N uh, NFL games, but I don't really remember their titles. But what I didn't like about that was you're essentially choosing your – you know, you, you sit there with a play and you decide on that play and then that's all that happens. There's no real 
Well, that well, depends. You can do manager. I mean, you could do that in the hockey one too. Most sports games have manager mode where you don't do anything but plan. Right. I don't. But like you're probably that. talking about Madden because Madden does take a lot of time to kind of figure out the plays and whatever, unless right. you already know them. Right. That's yeah. Right, so, so that's not what I like. I like this one because there's no jump right in. Yeah. You, there's no real strategy. You know. Oh, that's not true at all. Th- there's no real strategy as far as before you plan. You have to strat. Uh, you have to. You strat- there is you you know you make you your strategy lines and all while that you're stuff, playing. But, yeah, you know, okay. so if this character's over here, I can pass it to him. But if he's not over there, there's well, no I'm downs. Expecting- the the puck is constantly moving, mm-hmm. which is why there's only three periods at 20 minutes each because right. you know it's it's a yeah it goes 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 until there's a penalty or an offsides or something like that. So yeah, I I, I very much enjoy this game. I really really like it. Surprisingly, and I, I do too. Again, the NHL 2008 is is probably the best edition. I was a little upset because 2008 was not a good year for like the Avs or the 2007 was not a good year for the Avalanche, which is my favorite team. But it was a great year for Jersey Devils. We fucking check you every two seconds. That was me. I was checking the hell out of him. I, as soon as I figured out how to check, I was doing it nonstop. Even yeah. the players that didn't have the puck, I was just doing it. Yeah, so anyway, uh, yeah, uh, there's a lot of flexibility, a lot of fun to be had. If you like sports games and you haven't tried a, ch- a hockey game, try it out, man. Yes. It, it's fast-paced fun. It really is. Agreed. And then if you're looking for a challenge and a more realistic experience, uh, 13 and 14 are very realistic. So, you know, I, I appreciate that. But again, you know, the uh, the AI is a little bit sticky. And in fact, they know that not everybody wants to do that. So in 14, they have a 94, you know, 1994 mode that tries to make it very arcade where you're really just using buttons to huh. to to shoot and all that stuff. That's cool. But what I've heard is that it's really bad. I don't, I haven't played it. I don't waste my time. I like the more realistic experience, but 8 is just the best so far. All right, guys, that that's my love letter to the NHL. <laughs> I, I really do enjoy hockey. It's, it's a lot of fun. Starts October 1st, so. Coming up. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlist. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has. And please leave comments. We love comments. And you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a card game, art prints, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us. And if I'm online, I will chat with you all day. And we're both blogging. You can find me, fisk37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, releasing updates to, to the world I've created for 10 plus years. Take a look. If you like it, share it. Support me that way. And mine is nicholasbach.tumblr.com, where I have short stories and poetry. So if you're interested, check that out. All right, guys. See you later. No. I was worried I would jam again, so and I'll stop. Next up, Resident Evil, the deck building game. Hockey. You see that hockey game? Hacky. Hack, hacky, hockey. Minnesota hockey. So, I think I've told you this recently, but I've noticed that when I wake up in the morning, like everybody always said, like during my life, that when you wake up in the morning, your brain is freshest, and that's a good time to take a test, you know, like going through high school, stuff, shit like that. And I always was like, that's bullshit. And now, what happens is I've, I've noticed for the last, I don't know, four or five years at least, when I wake up, I have thoughts go through my head. And I'll be on like three more thoughts from that, and then my mouth will just say that first thought. It, there's such a lag between those thoughts. And I was trying not to do it. I was trying to think of something and then immediately say it, like as I was driving to the bank or whatever this morning. And I just can't do it. it, it there's always at least a second lag. It's ridiculous. So it's not true for everyone. I'm I'm sure it's true for some of you guys. Well, I think I think that it's not true for me. That that that's uh. In the morning I'm just like fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> I think that was strictly taken for um, you know, for schooling. So you know, the first thing you do is not you you wake up and take a test. You know, you, you wake up, you take a shower, and you and you uh go to school. Which so by the time of it, you, you have like an hour or so of wake up time, and then by then. Yeah, I suppose I need at least two hours and my brain doesn't really fire till you know the wee hours of the morning Which is why I don't sleep well, you know sometimes because I'm just up doing stuff Whatever <laughs> Thundercats? Yeah <laughs> That was really more of a ah, than a ho oh. Thunder thunder thundercats ah. <laughs>